what ho, what ho. This is Ruthie and today I'm going to tell you a story. Today's story is called The Not Very Clever Builder and The Intelligent Builder. Anyway, once upon a time there was a not very intelligent builder and he decided he wanted to build himself a beachfront cottage which is completely reasonable behavior these properties are worth a packet if you can build them in the right place anyway he found himself a nice beach and he had a nice bit of land on the side but the not very clever builder decided that he was going to do something never done before he said to his wife let's build a house on the beach that's right so our kids can walk straight off the porch in the morning into the sea and go paddling won't that be spiffing well he went to the city council to see about uh, getting some plans drawn up for his marvelous invention and the building committee was not thrilled. They said, sand is not a very strong substance and we're afraid if you build your house on the sand it might collapse when the sea comes in. Well, the not very clever building builder decided that the council were total idiots and they didn't know anything. He had reason to believe this, of course, because they had spent over $8 million on a swimming pool and it had broken down three times and no one had even had their first swim in it, even though it was the Australian summer and very, very hot and it had been up for five years and everyone had to go to another village and pay twice as much because they were not locals. But we digress. Back to the not very clever builder. He decided that the local council didn't know what it was talking about so he got in all his machinery and he built his house now he had a lovely time building his house because the foundations were so easy to put in this house went up in a day it was marvelous and after he had built his house very fast and his children were playing in their lovely ocean paddling pool he got out his telescope and he looked up the hill which was made of hard granite rock to a friend of his they'd been to builders college together they'd gone to the same TAFE and he observed that observed I beg your pardon that this person was building his house on the rock that's right 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 up on the hill and he was digging and digging and digging and digging and getting more and more and more sweaty and the man down on the house built on the sound thought this guy was a real idiot and he began to yell opprobrious that means extremely rude statements up the hill he said what an idiot you are what a fool what an idiot look at me enjoying myself I've progressed in life I have well the builder on the hill kept digging and digging and digging into the rock now putting foundations into rock is hard 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 work and it takes a long 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 time but eventually he got up his solid little cottage without the ocean paddling pool lapping around the porch now for a few years nothing seemed to be a problem for either house and it appeared that the one that had gone up faster had a very good deal indeed but then one day there was a report on the weather forecast that a terrible awful dreadful storm was coming yes the biggest storm anyone had ever seen now this is a rather sad story I'm afraid um, the storm came in and it broke over the granite mountain and the house built on the rock surprisingly well perhaps not so surprisingly it stood firm and they lasted the storm out and although they lost all the electricity they had a lovely time roasting marshmallows in front of their open fire now the really nasty part comes now. Down on the beach, things were not so good. The house promptly exploded because the city council had actually been correct about that point, even if they'd bunged up the swimming pool. Um, but again, I digress. And the family only just escaped with their lives by clinging on to piles floating by in the salty brine.
What is the point of this long-winded story? I shall tell you. The word of God is a rock. It is a solid foundation. When you go through life and you build your life on the rock, you are going to find certain restrictions apply to you, much like laws that the government puts into place against us building um, houses on beaches, even though it sounds fun, because eventually that is very dangerous behaviour. However, if you persist and dig your foundations into the rock when the storms of life come, and they will, you will be able to weather them out. Even if you lose your light for a little while, you will survive because your foundation is a solid one. So next time you're facing a life decision, think about that. Are you going to be a clever builder or a not very clever builder? Because the difference could be whether you're toasting marshmallows in your cosy cottage or floating on the ocean foam holding on to a useless and uprooted pile. Love you! Bye-bye!